tonight we're just going to make soup and rolls. So I'm going to, because I'm going to do soup and bread, we're actually going to use the processor just for quickness tonight. So two onions popped in and we'll just get them chopped up nice and quickly. I want them in wee bits. Oil on whilst you're doing this. Again, I'm using my Scottish rapeseed, keeping Scotland the brand. Get this through to everyone yet. So just for a quick pulse, just for a second, I'll be quiet. Much easier than chopping. But anyway, normally I quite like chopping things because it's quite therapeutic, I always think. Take this down. Oh, crash bang wallop. I don't know what my cameraman's trying to say to me in the background here. I don't do his hand gestures very well, I'm afraid. Anyway, if we just get the majority of these in, it won't matter if there's some left over. We'll get them in in a minute. When I'm doing the mushrooms. So, again, the reason I'm using the blender tonight is really because of the mushrooms. Because it does take a long time. That would be the tin of yeast falling. <laughs> that's okay, it's empty. So we're just going to keep going as we do. I'm using about 250 grams, 300 grams of mushrooms because it's going to be the minute as mushroom soup after all. So I'll just pop these in as we go. Hopefully, they'll maybe have to half them actually. They're not going to just chop up as easy as I would have liked. That's fine, we'll just get these in and then we can keep going. put some additional ones in that um, aren't going to be quite so small. You wanted your onions just to start off frying and then add the mushrooms. Like I said, about 250 to 300 grams. Now we won't waste any of this, but we'll use some hot water in a second. The reason we're having mushroom soup tonight is because yellow yeah, labels. So we were in Tesco actually was, I think it was. And I uh, happened to see a great big planet of mushrooms for 50 pence. Now I don't always use cream but I'm using cream tonight because when you buy it for 6 pence you can't say no. So that is what we're, why we're having this tonight. So I'm just going to add some water. Just get rid of the... You're probably making about a litre and a half of soup here. Let's just get that out the road for a second. Pop this away, tidy as we go. So it's when we go on to the bread. Woohoo! Stay now. Well, this is going to go wrong. I can, some nights you can just feel it. Anyway, quickly slice up some more. So today, I don't know what the rest of you, I don't know what the weather's like where you are. So today, I think for we on about the 29th of May. Oh, I'm dreadful, I never know what day it is, what date it is rather. But anyway, today we have been away out doing a Viking hiking out to Scapa in Orkney with uh, Raggy, one of the Norwegian ladies that lives in Orkney. So she started a new thing up and called Viking hiking. So today we went from the, the tourist centre out to Scapa Beach, which is probably just about a mile and a half or thereabouts. But oh my goodness, it was just lovely. The sun came out. Oh, kettle in the road. The sun came out and it was just glorious. Poor Fiona, you're a mother half at the Orkney News. A mother fifth, I should really say. There are five of us. She went this morning. And it wasn't very nice this morning. <laughs> it was really foggy. 
So I, I drew the better straw and had the nicer weather. So we walked down to Scapa Beach with uh, Raggy telling stories the whole way about all the different sagas, the Norwegian stories, you know, the sagas, that's what saga means, it's uh, Norwegian for story, or storytelling. And then when we arrived at the beach, there was a man called Mark Cook and he had the big open fire on the go in the big pots and had um, like a chicken casserole over, over the fire and we all got to make our own um, bannocks, you know, like um, flatbreads and they got cooked on the fire. We made our own butter when we were there as well, so we, I was feeling very uh, Mother Nature today. Me Earth Mother, even though it wasn't mine. But anyway, we'll get that, this on. Now, bring it up to the heat. What I'm doing here as well is I'm adding just a little bit of potato. So it's two potatoes, grated. I've already grated one just to save some time. And hopefully some mess. And this will just thicken it slightly. You could use cornflour if you wanted. I just like putting some potato in it because the starch will thicken it. Gives it a wee bit of body as well. And carbohydrates are good for us. We need our carbohydrates. So in with the potato. got messy messy. Anyway, I'll just pop that to the side. That's a quick bolt. And then milk. It's up to you. You can use as much or as little milk as you want. Like you say, you're, you're ultimately going for about a litre and a half of liquid. So I've got nobody tonight that's like lactose intolerant or anything. So I've probably used half a pint to three quarters of a pint of milk there and I'm getting the evil eye again I've left the milk in the road this time there we go what we'll get the hang of this yet I'm using single cream like I say only because it was six pence and it shouldn't split so I'm going to be very decadent and put the whole lot in so that's the basis of your soup what we need to do now is just build up some flavours so, the inevitable in my house, the inevitable garlic. Two teaspoons. I think you can just about guess every time I cook it. Two teaspoons. Of garlic granules. Of garlic granules. Oh, one of these years, one of these times, years, whatever, I'll be able to not rely on you saying that. Um, my vegetable stock, I've got a vegetarian tonight. So, two teaspoons. We're only going to use two just now. Um, the potatoes should absorb a good bit of the salt, but because it's um, granules as well, I can add to it. Easier to add than take away. I think my boots are making a bit of a, a noise on the floor. I'll just have to try not to move too much. Um, say about a quarter of a teaspoon of... I'm trying to a bit more. quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. quarter of a teaspoon of rosemary. Now, these are maybe not flavours that you've ever really thought of putting together, but I think they're lovely. And I'm going to say a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, but I'm going to do it this way tonight, because I went to do this last night, and my goodness, the lid came off. <laughs> so thankfully I was able to, with, you know, to get some of it out. We were having a very strange dinner tonight, where because we're having this, and I thought... I'll get some meringues and we'll just have some nice strawberries afterwards and cream and what have you. Ice cream, something like that. Anyway, we're coming out of the car tonight. We had a disaster. The eggs fell out the back of the car. So suddenly I've made pancakes too. I, I was going to actually put it on the camera, but then I thought, oh goodness, between doing this and then the soup, it would maybe be, end up getting up to like 25 minutes and that might just be too much Helen for anybody to suffer. The rings off for the bread. And I'll just clear a space here. That you just need to bring to the bubble. Bring it to the bubble and give it probably the best part of an hour actually. You're wanting it to cook down. Now again this will be up to you at the end of this. If you want it smooth, put it in the um, liquidizer or hand blender, masher, potato masher, anything like that. I'll decide how I want it. 
once I see how the mushrooms are produced. But we'll just let, set that aside, let it come up to the heat. Get on with the, the rolls. I'm going to do crispy rolls tonight. Now, the process is just the exact same. I'm not worried too much here if I've got bits of onion floating about. Um, the surfaces were all cleaned before I started. And if there's a wee bit of onion in it, it'll make absolutely no odds. What might make odds, mind you, is if I'm on the wrong setting and then it doesn't work for me. So here we go. We're going to do 400 grams of flour. So bread flour, good strong bread flour. Oh, come on. That'll do us. Pop it there because I'll need it in a second for kneading on. What am I doing, Kenny? What am I doing? What am I doing? Salt. Teaspoon of salt. I'm going to do two teaspoons of yeast because I will be putting water in the oven. So you're wanting to make sure they dry, uh, they rise quite high. And then fill in the centre the usual two tablespoons of oil, our best rapeseed again. They always say bread should be a perfect science. <laughs> because I don't measure any of these things and it seems to work. I never really figured that out. 200 mils of warm water. Now, in case you haven't watched them before, the rule is it's half the amount of liquid to flour. So in this case, 400 grams of flour is 200 mils of warm water. I, I tend not to put it all in, just in case. I've maybe just overdone the oil. Quick mix round. Now we're not going to, as usual, we're not going to over knead this bread tonight. It doesn't need it. It's not, you know, you've not got the onion or the cheese or anything in it, so you don't need to knead it twice. I'm going to need all this water tonight. I've got a sous chef in the kitchen. <laughs> maybe it's just the bin man tidying up as we go. What I will maybe ask you to do there, thank you very much dear, is can you reach and put the lid on that soup and turn it down for me? Kenny from behind the camera, just about in front of the camera. Thank you. If you could just turn it back to one for me, that would be super. I think I'm going to maybe need a wee bit extra water. Dashed. That's not going to work so easily. Let's see if I can get it. Because I've just unplugged my... I can use the tap water straight from the tap as warm. Only... I've unplugged it in the fuse, well actually the fuse isn't working anyway, I'll be getting in trouble. I've blown another fuse, but never mind. I'm forever blowing fuses in this house. But anyway, that'll do that. It won't matter if we've left one or two wee bits. Quick shake of flour, not too much because it's dry anyway. And then just a quick knead. Like I say, you shouldn't need too long tonight. So what have you all been doing the last couple of days? Well, I think we're, we're going to run out of time in two minutes, I think is what I'm being signalled here. It seems to want to go off after 15 minutes, but it can give me the nod tonight and I'll just stop till he then puts it back on. How are we going? Just about. You just pause it for a second if you like. No? Okay, we'll just keep going. Well, we've been lucky the last few days, actually. The weather in Orkney has been lovely. I know it's not been so good south. People have been having floodings and the likes. But, no, we've had beautiful weather. We've been so lucky. Makes such a change if you can get sitting out in your back doorstep. Who needs to go abroad when you've got wonderful Scottish sunshine? Oh, might be best to put them at the back of it. Oh, Kenneth. Messy, messy. I'll get it in a second. We've got some kitchen roll there. 
pop it on. Too many jobs at once here, people. We'll be wishing they'd cost it now. Now I'll just use that with cloth can go straight into the washing machine. Just pop it out of the road. Okay, I'll need to just go back on and we'll take the lid to the side so there's You see, disasters happen everywhere. But the secret is don't panic. That'll, that'll put some water in my um, dough. Squelch, squelch. I think we're just about there anyway. But I'm going to just call that a day. It's maybe not got quite as much given as I would normally use, but the time is marching on. Now, these are, like I say, just one need tonight. So we're just going to make it into... Would nine rolls be easy to, enough to do, I wonder? Try and get them so as they're in a reasonably similar shape. And then and then we'll just do it like that and then like this. No matter actually if there's some a wee bit bigger than others, I don't suppose, too much. So, straight onto your tray for these. What I've done here is I've actually sprinkled some semolina on it, some just coarse, ordinary coarse semolina, and that um, gives that grainy texture on the bottom. Just give them another quick need actually to soften them a wee bit. Side by side, pat them down into your roll shape. Now these will only take 15 minutes in the oven. You want to put in a tray of water underneath at the bottom. That'll crisp your rolls up nicely. Fingers crossed anyway, I should never sound so confident, just in case they don't. But I'm going to leave them, along with the soup cooking, I'm going to leave these to rise, probably for about an hour. It won't matter if they spread out, in fact we'll just pat them down a wee bit, and it won't matter if they spread out because when you buy them in the supermarket anyway, I guess we're only having eight, but never mind. I know you'll all be shouting five second rule. What do you think? Will we do the five second rule? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Guess we're only having eight. Alright, so we're going to just cover them with a piece of cling film, stick them somewhere warm, let them rise for around about an hour, and then we'll come back and cook them. Okay, so, had an hour. Now, those of the eagle eyes amongst you will see that they're back to being nine on the tree. Well, I've just decided I know which one is, it's the gnarly one, so I just wet my hands and wiped it off. So I'll eat it and who cares, I needed nine. So I'm not going to bother crossing them or anything like that. Uh, at this stage I don't want to risk them going, I think enough went wrong in tonight's recipe blog. So these are just going into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, they really don't take very long. Now tonight I'm wanting these to be crispy. Like, you know, like a French crispy roll. So I've got some hot water here, which I'm just going to put directly underneath the rolls and the steam will crisp up the outer skin of the roll. If you prefer your rolls more traditionally like Scottish rolls, um, soft baps, add an egg to the mix. Some people think that it can taste a wee bit cakey when you do that, Kenny does, so I tend not to make them like that myself, but I know that if you if you do actually add an egg to it, it will keep them nice and soft in the cooking. Oh, so, back again. Moment of truth again for the rolls this time. 
I have actually checked them a couple of times and these have taken a wee bit longer tonight. They maybe had in, they were maybe thicker, you know, they hadn't spread out as much. So they've actually had almost 20 minutes after me saying you shouldn't need to get them more than 15. But anyway. And there you have just little, I think we maybe could have got a couple of minutes less actually. They've gone a wee bit dark. It was fine, it gave me time to make the pancakes. So, quick ball out, one of them, oh gosh, I've been letting them all taste it, and it all tastes fine, but Naomi can't do the bits, so I'm going to have to just come back and liquidise it for her. I mean, bits, for goodness sakes, there's hardly any bits in it. But anyway. And just like that, in about an hour, an hour and a quarter, you have your homemade mushroom soup. Good bar myself. One, two, three, go. Crusty roll. And what's not to like? And like I say, that soup tonight, that soup was made for less than a pound and for five, six people. You know? So, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>